Coming up tomorrow, local area health organizations and businesses will be offering you the opportunity to get useful information on health and financial planning at a free event. Registered nurse Thelma Seri is here to give us the rundown for the Cedar Street Baptist Church of God's third annual Health and Resource Day. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. You know, uh, I was uh, looking at your flyer here and you've got a, uh, a quote from Romans. It says, renew your mind, Romans 12, 2. And, you know, if you look at the Bible, it's not only a religious book, it's it's basically an instructional book on how to live life. And yes. I think that's probably where you're heading with yes. this weekend, isn't it? Yes, that's exactly correct. Renew your mind. As you know, as we age, our, our mental capacity starts to diminish. And you may have seen on the TV and in magazines where they're talking about exercises to uh, promote brain health. And so tomorrow we're having one of our speakers come. Her name is Tina Thomas from the Alzheimer's Association of Greater Richmond. And she'll be talking about healthy mind. She's not only going to talk about things that you can do to maintain your brain cells, but also to talk about Alzheimer's and how uh, uh, care providers can take care of those who have Alzheimer's. Because unfortunately, this is getting toward epidemic uh, when it comes to the number of people either who have Alzheimer's, who may develop Alzheimer's, who are taking care of someone who has Alzheimer's. Exactly. And personally, I have my father, he'll be 91 in November. He has dementia. Um, he doesn't have the diagnosis of Alzheimer's, but he has dementia. And we all know and we've all seen in families or friends someone who's taking care of uh, the caretaker. And boy, does that take a toll. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. So Ms. Thomas will have some information about that tomorrow. Well, you've got a lot of information. You've got a lot of people who are going to be there with information for people. Give us kind of an idea of what will be represented. Um, we'll have several of the major health care organizations there. Uh, VCU has, is uh, supporting us. Uh, Gen Care, Capital Area Health Network, uh, McGuire Veterans Affairs Medical Center, and one of the uh, presentations there from uh, McGuire will be uh, promoting women veterans um, from the standpoint of recognition, but also promoting an opportunity for women veterans throughout the state of Virginia to sign up to get a state license plate in their recognition. And well they deserve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, I wanted to ask you a question about this. You've been doing this for a couple of years, and every year I would imagine this is going to grow a little bit. Yes. And the people that come are probably asking questions and, and learning, uh, and that's obviously a part of it. When you plan this, do you uh, learn something yourself every year? Oh, most definitely. Even as a healthcare professional, you know, we're adult learners, and it's always an opportunity to learn. We have so many vendors that are coming. We started out, I believe, with 25 the first year that we had it. It was an idea conceived by myself and my co-chair, Sheridan Hayden, who is an LPN, who retired from uh, working in the city of Richmond, uh, but also as we've grown, we have 46 vendors coming this year. So the word is getting out. We want to thank you for the opportunity to have us on your program. You're very welcome. And I understand the National Black Nurses Association stepped in to help you do this this year. Yes, because we actually do this off of a shoestring budget. We actually use the money that we raise within our health ministry at Cedar Street. And we just want to uh, serve the community, not only our congregation, but reach out to the community and let them know about all of the things that they may need to be aware of as it relates to health, disease prevention and health promotion, but also to uh, give them information about financial planning. We have uh, various organizations coming out in that regard. We have organizations coming out talking about life net, uh, organ donation, and end of life planning. But we also have activities for the children as well. We're going to have a, a balloon twister there, Johnny, a local vendor in the community, as well as other activities. So Let's, we're excited. We're excited for you. Let's uh -huh. tell people where they can go. It's this weekend, Cedar Street Baptist Church of God presents the third annual Health and Resource Day. It is tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the church. It's at 2301 Cedar Street. We'll post a link to details for you by earlier this afternoon at WTBR.com slash VTN.